Hey everyone, coming at you with a video today on maps and as it applies with some tips and tricks for area study, advanced work, advanced planning, logistics implementation, operations planning, emergency planning, you know, things like that. So there's a lot of different maps out there and you should have at least two different kinds of physical maps. I just have one example here. I've, I've got several different maps to include giant road atlases you know that you have in your vehicle and things like that which you should have one of those in your vehicle so one of the things that i recommend is actually so this brand Rand mcnally and there's a couple other brands out there that have these laminated maps uh road maps road atlases of your entire state it is usually broken down by state by by territory uh even by other countries things like that you can pick these up they're about eh, what 10 bucks a piece something like that but these are good to have because again they're laminated so with some dry erase markers you can write on them and draw and make notes and stuff one of the other tips and tricks that i like to do is you see i have blue painters tape on here it's useful because you can tear a little bit off of that and put it on a spot or use it as a label marker in some form or fashion on the map and use a sharpie to write on the painter's tape so that you don't have any permanent markings on the map. If for some reason you were to be compromised or whatever it is, you can remove that piece of tape and get rid of it and you won't have any markings or anything. And that's the thing with these dry erase markers. Again, you can write on the map and you can wipe off whatever you need to. I like doing the tape for labeling because that is a little bit more permanent. It's not going to come off as easily as the dry erase marker stuff if it is wet out and things like that. Uh, but this is very useful for doing all kinds of marking and uh, route identification and, and all that kinds of stuff. Marking SSEs and SAE sensitive sites uh, and areas for exploitation or uh, that's something that's useful to you, you know, whatever it may be, you know, just as an example. So uh, that's why I put a little bit of tape, uh, you know, have a little bit of tape on the laminated map and stuff. And uh, this is just for one area, but you... You've got all the main routes and you've got all the county county roads and county routes and stuff mapped on there. Again, your road atlases are going to have them too, but those generally aren't laminated. You can pay money to get them laminated or just put a bunch of clear tape on each page and laminate it that way. But uh, these are just easy to pick up because they're already laminated and they're pretty small. These will fit in your admin pouch, you know, of your equipment or in your bag or whatever and you can utilize them for that along with just a couple of dry erase markers and and then a sharpie with some of this tape so that's a really useful thing that uh, that I do and that's something that people can utilize that's again just really easy to do with very few components to have a fairly com comprehensive uh, setup for yourself that's small and easy to have with you for marking on maps while you're doing your route planning and advanced planning, uh, uh, area studies, uh, emergency planning, you know, whatever it is. Um, yeah, so hopefully that, that uh, makes sense to people and is something easy for people to understand that's useful to them. So, you know, just an example here. So... You got that city here, you can see, and it's, uh, obviously it's not a topo map, but you can see that there's various bodies of water and terrain features and things like that that you can look at and understand that, you know, you're going to have some choke points in here that you're going to have to deal with if you're going this way or whatever. Here's the main major highway thoroughfare, you know, you got all these county roads, you see a lot of grid pattern stuff, especially uh, around the Midwest and, and some places in the Southwest and things like that, but, you know, you've got... You've got different things that you can use to analyze just with a basic map like this, apart from your route planning and things like that. So you can use it to great effect for yourself. Why do I hash out the importance of route planning and uh, advance work, advance planning, area study, reconnaissance, things like that? Because that is a meat and potatoes, and it's something that's equally as important if not more important than any of the high speed tactical crap that you see online you know a lot of that obviously training is important and, and necessary and essential 
but this is going to be a meat and potatoes of things. You know, the, there's a lot of people out there and there's a lot of practices that aren't being done or undertaken for people to understand that, hey, say, say I live like right here. Just as an example, say, say, say I or someone I know lives right here. Okay. And we need to get like way out of there and we need to go like down here somewhere, you know, and obviously there's bigger maps, you know, in the inside and, and whatever. You're utilizing other maps. Okay. So you need to understand what your obstacles are. You need to understand the best, the best, safest routes. And again, pace planning, you know, you're going to have at least three or more routes. You know, what am I going to utilize in these routes to be able to circumnavigate checkpoints, circumnavigate damage on roads, flooded over roads, whatever it may be, you know, emergency planning wise and otherwise, you know, what am I going to do to get out of where I don't want to be and get to where I need to be or get to uh, other assets, uh, assistance, support, whatever it may be. Okay. You know, that's, that's why this stuff is so important. Apart from operational planning, you know, if you are going to gear up and go do those things you know you better understand where you're going you know what what your grids look like what your maps look like what what kind of features and roads and and whatever else that you're looking for to avoid or that you're going to go affect and influence you know all these things like these are just important things and they're some of the core essentials to one of the many things that are involved with logistics so this is why i reiterate it so much but this is just another video kind of rounding this out here to give you an idea of some very simple things that you can have on, on hand and that you should have on hand to utilize for yourself in doing all of this planning and having with you for operational readiness and some mitigating and tool usage means in order to lessen the likelihood of being compromised say were this to get into the wrong hands when you have it labeled and marked up with dry erase marker you know and using some tape that you can easily remove so that you're not leaving any evidence okay uh, something that the the bad the bad guys cannot use against you whoever that may be and then again for emergency planning as well understanding what routes are going to be good or what routes you may want to avoid in the event of natural disasters and other emergencies, flooding tornadoes, whatever it may be. Those are those are common for my area, so I use those as examples. But that's just some more of the stuff and some more things for people to kind of understand and get used to uh, having on hand and utilizing in physical form that's going to give them an upper hand in their effectiveness and their uh, con contribution to their overall logistics package. So hopefully that uh, makes, makes some sense to people. Hopefully there's some things in there that you find useful. And uh, thanks for watching. Metal up. Out.